Hello Color Bay, this is your talent manager Ralph Casals for running you an update on Blue Heron Park, which is a park located in our Lakes by the Bay community. It has a linear track, it also has workout equipment, it very, has a lot of good lush landscaping. So as we have gone through our journey with the 16 acre Legacy Park Investment Complex, part of our scope of working with Miami-Dade County environmental agencies is to provide soil samples throughout the community adjacent to our 16 acre parcel. Hence. Blue Herring Park, which is right down the street from there. As a result, we have done wells there for sample wells as required by Miami-Dade County Durham, our environmental partners. And unfortunately, there's been high levels of arsenic that have been discovered by our environmental consultants. As a result, and working closely with Miami-Dade County Durham in an abundance of cautions and also to protect the safety and welfare of our residents, I have made the decision to go ahead and close, temporarily close the Blue Herring Park property until we remediate the process. What's the remediation process? We're working closely with Miami-Dade County Durham in order to go ahead and have a soil management plan approved. It may entail removing the top six to 12 inches of topsoil and sod, taking that away and bringing in clean fill. The trail, the Vita course that's there was in much needed repair, it will be rebuilt, in fact, better and even possibly even wider. The workout equipment that's there will remain. The trees that are there will also remain. We will protect the trees, the canopy that's there. But it is going to be an unfortunate inconvenience for some of our residents that patronize that park. But we do have some great alternatives. We have Lakes by the Bay Park that has a, a nice Vita course workout equipment, as well as our Saga Bay Park, which has tennis courts and our newly uh, constructed pickleball course. And we also have Saga Lake Park within close proximity. So once again, I want to provide this community update to you. Please rest assured as I brief the town council that we will expedite the remediation of the, the fill and bringing in the new fill and opening that park. That's why I'm using the words temporary closure. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me below. Also, if you'd like to have additional information, during our June 20th council meeting, the, our town environmental attorney, Michael Golsey, provided a detailed explanation to the town council during that council meeting. And you can please click on the link below to watch the full report. So once again, thank you. We apologize for the inconvenience. And if you have any questions, please email me below. Thank you. Have a nice day.